Yeah. Oh, it's because we muted it. There we go. Hey, what we were saying? We were saying hello, hello, everybody. Everybody missed that. Got it figured out. Who's here? Love to see you. Give us some thumbs up if you're watching out there. We got. Um, our, we're gonna see who the first man is to sign on because we've got nine ladies here: Linda Coslo, Ginger Klein, Brittany Kammermer, Ralph Raffaella Wampler. I'm sorry about that. And uh, Lisa Hazelton. We got a Sheila Whitney, Rachel, and Nathan. Oh, Nathan Grove may have won. There's two Nathans now. Uh, hey, it's look at that. I'm sorry. I'm just fascinated. It's trying to. It's trying to do closed captioning. Oh, are we? Does it work? Mine does. Can it Mine's type faster than I can talk? Dude. Is somebody <laughs> else getting close captioning? Because it's not on this. See, look, it's not here. It even spelled "cuz" right. Cuz. First man, cuz. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Oh. Sorry, this is brand new information <laughs> for us. But Kyle. welcome to City Light Nights. Here we are. We're. Uh, it's what, actually evening this what time. What night? Is, yeah. Because the last time we did it, it was on a Saturday, and it was like, I felt like it was a telethon, like it was a long, <laughs> it was a a long broadcast. The last two times we've done it. I got home, and my mo- my wife was like, you got to work on staying focused. I know there's a lot going on, but you were like, and there was. I'm, I'm, I'm here tonight. I'm, there's only one thing happening that's right here, but I was looking at donuts and people going by and the birds, and but tonight I'm focused. Squirrels. I'm, I saw I'm you. In. Squirrel. You know, squirrel <laughs> looking. But no squirrels in the auditorium nope. here, so we're good. We're, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, hey, thumbs up for people that are ready for Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy are Mother's you ready for Mother's Day? That's the question. I, I, I want to be the first to say Happy Mother's Day oh. to my mother who is watching. Hi, Mom. Um, you're, I've, heard the, I've heard the post office is running a little behind this year. Oh, yeah, and that's not couple Nathan's days. fault. No, it's not my fault. It's going to be the post office fault it's the that post office doesn't get there in time. Fault if... If it doesn't arrive by it Sunday, comes at the same time every hey, oh, is this on come still? on, it's still on. <laughs> <laughs> so happy Mother's Day to my uh, mother, and then happy Mother's Day to my wife as well. Look, I need to get all these brownie oh, points. There you go. So, um, but hey, if you haven't done anything yet for your you mom want a real for Mother's Day, point? I'm gonna put you on the spot. No, no, <laughs> no I don't want a real. Okay, point. never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you can put me on. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. All right. No, that's all right. I'm ready for it because we're asking all of our people, everybody from yes. our church this week. To send a video to us for this Sunday, uh, I haven't checked the database yet to see who's done this. You can give us a little, uh, a little thumbs up if you've done it already, but give us one word to describe your mother, one word to describe your mother, any word you want, good, bad, or indifferent, and your word for your mom would be what? Oh, you are putting me on yes. the spot. In five, well, it, four, three, two. Oh, you got to tune in Sunday. Your to find microphone's out. cutting. You've got to tune in Sunday <laughs> to find out. Look, this is. I have not I, had a chance to think about this yet. So no, I, I've. There are. The problem is I don't. I have a hard time narrowing down. There are so many words because there's so many really. synonyms for uh, phenomenal. Yeah. Mm, look at F- that. Phenomenal. Oh, we're gonna Phenom- get some. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. <laughs> Yes, that's a brownie point. That Fem- a my word? mom is phenomenal. Somebody Fem- needs to Google that. Did you? Phenomenal. Did you just make that up, or did that's, you search hey, that? Hey, if today? you're looking for new words, <coughs> you've tuned into the right place. This is where we make them up. You know, when I thought uh, about my mother, the first word I thought about was supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Oh, sure. You just got to yeah. try to one up with a little <laughs> bit longer one there. Is that longer than phenomenal? <laughs> phenomenal. Fem- fem- Spell it. I dare you. Spell it. F E. One of those silent P's. One one of those silent P's. <coughs> but, Four so, but that's a good point, though. So if you are a City Light member, um, and this is for anybody, you know, sometimes people think, uh, you know, a lot of times Mother's Day, everybody thinks it's for the kids, you know, all that. But you know, you're we're all kids. Oh, right? I- you I mean, whether you're. What do you mean by for the kids? I'm I'm a little lost here. You mean well, like I mean like like the kids need to do something oh, special. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Um, but if you're a dad, you got to kind of help the kids. Is that what you're saying? Right so right yeah. And if you're uh, and this this little video thing with the, the single word answer, it's really right. easy. Right. I mean, this is a little gift you can give to your mom, your wife. Yeah. And you know whoever just. You can even be a lady and be involved you, in this. If we you want, are a mom and want. you have a mom. We were going to do just the guys, just the kids, and then we thought, no, ladies have moms. 
and they would like a chance to say, my mom is phenomenal. 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 Okay. Phenomenal. Um, then you gotta get send down. that to the video. Here, here's what I am curious about while we're getting going here is who has a Mother's Day tradition? I see the webs. Uh, Rachel said she's ready for Mother's Day egg Benedict. That seems like a thing that happens regularly at their house or eggs at least Benedict. annually. Eggs Benedict. The webs are always talking about their fancy food. Their fancy food. They're foods. fancy food people. Yeah. For sure. Eggs Benedict. Yeah. Eggs Benedict. Eggs Benedict. We eat eggs uh, Benedict. What is uh, eggs Benedict? Webs, you gotta I'd post your recipe if you have I a eat recipe. Egg whites have a carton from Aldi. I don't. <laughs> uh, with a straw. With a, no, no, I cook them. I cook them. Maybe uh, throw a little bacon bits in there. To you know, you might want to up your game a little bit for Mother's Day this weekend. <laughs> oh no, my wife uh, would love that if I cooked. You bring her well, a carton with a straw in it. It's like not eggs, milk. It's, yeah. it's egg whites. <laughs> That's great. Uh, <laughs> so anybody have? A, oh, Linda's reading the closed captioning. That's cool. Uh, I'm glad that's on somebody's. Yeah, mine I'll see it on up. this. Fancy I wonder if it got it. my word right. Like, Famamo? I'm going to yeah, say it. Famamo. 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 Famamo? Famamo. Oh, that'll be funny. You know, I feel like the, the Muppets right now. Manamana. You're, you're <laughs> the uh, webs like to eat. Yes. Um, it said something about India. We could do a whole episode. I don't think, on I don't think it eating, knows. But we'll not. Maybe we won't do that here now. But do you have a Mother's Day tradition? This always happens on Mother's Day. I got a memory this last week, um, or just mm. two days ago. I, yeah. sh I showed my kids. Uh, no, I just did phenomenal. You just did phenomenal. Um, I'll have to get that one in there. And, and one year, when we lived in Florida, I drove down two hours to Orlando and rented a convertible uh, for uh, my wife. And we rented it for like three days for the weekend. And we drove around um, like cool people and went to Carabas, which is like the best place to ever eat. And uh, we I think we actually went there twice, Friday night, Saturday night, uh, and then drove it around on Sunday and then took it back on took what it back color, on Monday. Did you get to pick the color? Was uh, it, like it was a Volvo, uh, and but it was it was like a it was like Florida State red. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Garnet. It yeah. was it was nice. Mm. You can find it on yeah. Facebook. Um, it sure doesn't beat it my wasn't like orange. My okay. navy blue minivan <laughs> well that's what we're driving nowadays is the minivan <laughs> but back when we only had one kid uh we we could afford such luxuries as rental cars <laughs> you know if you put the top um, down on convertibles you just kind of stack them in the back <laughs> you can you can do it with four kids so here's here's uh karen says we spend the day with mom it was the weekend my brother was killed just a day to reflect mm. about him and to share stories with all the kiddos and so that's a special thing that they do uh each that's year it. and i'm sure that's a uh, a wonderful time and, uh, you know, then a challenging time remembering your brother as well. Any Anybody else? Hello from Rochester. Rochester, Wisconsin. How do you say that? Hi, Kim. Rochester. What up, Kim? That is uh, my, my stomping grounds up there. Oh, yeah? In Wisconsin, yeah. Do you stomp on cheese or what? Uh, oh, man. Well, we eat the cheese. It makes us stomp better <laughs> um, while we stop it at the one stoplight in Rochester. Oh. At least that's the way it used to Kim, be. Kim, he's making fun of your town. I'm not making fun. No, I, you know, there is a sweet spot in my heart for Rochester, <laughs> Wisconsin. Um, okay, great place if you need to vacate somewhere. <laughs> we're really we're losing. Okay, we are. I'm sorry. Wisconsin. We're we're off. We're Mother's off track Day. here. We it's do have coming. a point for being <laughs> for being being live here tonight. Um, mm -hmm. One is to remind you about Mother's Day. So mm -hmm. uh, you still have a couple days left here. This is a um, public service announcement. You can't. So you cannot. Uh, this is a thing. Something I've learned the last few weeks. Amazon Prime. Oh yeah, yeah. you can't you if can't do it. So Amazon guys, Prime, you're d <laughs> you're dead. Uh, you are. I've been waiting for two weeks for something. You have to go to CVS now. Um, <laughs> for your wife? CVS. No, no, uh, not just not for my wife. Generally, just generally, people. yeah. And so, uh, <laughs> so so you know, men, whoever hasn't gotten a gift yet, don't prime it because it's not going to happen. <laughs> so um, that's the thing. But Mother's Day, that was that was one thing we just wanted to remind you about that. We wanted to take um, 12 minutes to talk about Mother's Day. Yeah, sorry about that. Let's move it along. People. Um, the next thing, hey, a lot has been going on the last uh, few weeks at City Light, and we just wanted to tell you a little bit about something that we've called, uh, you probably heard of it by now, but the Love Focused Pop-Up Party. Pop -up and so party. last weekend we had, uh, how many how many dozen donuts did we give away? 100 dozen donuts. Uh, now, I have to be honest. So when we did this, we, we said, here's the donuts. Mm -hmm. And then I took those donuts because I opened it and kind of breathed on them. And I put them on my desk. Yeah. And I thought, those would be my family's donuts, and we'll take them home. Well, my family came, and I thought, I, you know, I did think someone grabbed them. Um, and then on Monday, I came into the office, and the dozen was on the desk. So it, 
maybe is technically 99. I'm not 99 sure. 99 dozen. But um, we did take that dozen. It just didn't go anywhere. You know, if you were a coffee drinker, all you have to do is dunk the donuts a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah. I did try a bite of it on Monday, yeah, to be honest, yeah. but it was a little, it, it was more like biscotti, I think, was is what uh, people would. Biscotti? No, biscotti, like that hard. I know. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> well, how did you get spaghetti? <laughs> well, it sounded like I got gotcha. you. Anyway, so, yeah, but but last 99, week. We gave away 100 dozen donuts to uh, to church and to people in our city, and you guys did a great job. I just want to say thank you. Yeah. For our people who came by, I know you probably snuck a donor or two, which is totally cool. Um, but I was thrilled to death because this is this is this is um, this is what it's about. Is it you know we're if, hey if you go to our church, you came by and got a dozen donuts and went home and ate them all, more power to you. No nothing wrong with that. Um, but one of the things we're hoping that's done is is we want we want to help our church uh, make it easier as easy as we can to love other people uh, and to do something kind for your neighbors or coworkers. And many of you came by and you said, hey, I'm going to get two, one for us and one for them, or just, hey, I need three because I'm going to my work. And um, and I was just thrilled to see that, that yeah. you were willing to go the extra mile uh, just to, you know, here, here's, what it, here's what it demonstrates. It can demonstrate if our heart's in the right place is that we're secure in our love for Christ so that we can love other people. If we were not secure in that love, then we're always going, hey, what about me? Who's going to love me? Who's, where's my donut? What's going on? You know, and we're like thinking about what's going on with me. But then, then that's why it's a love-focused pop-up party is because we, we got it. We got our love from Christ, and now we're, uh, we're giving it out to other people and serving other people in, the, in these special ways. Yeah, so if you were able to come through for that, I mean, you can give us a thumbs up for that. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, your donuts, you got some encouragement for your weekend there. Um, if you were not able to participate in that, and maybe uh, maybe you'd like to see what went on, we just have a short little video here. Uh, we'd like to catch you up to speed on it, so enjoy. such a perfect perfect day for it and everything and yep. it was just a small way to encourage our community and encourage our members that were able to stop mm -hmm. by um just a small gesture uh, to be able to do that we so we do have to call out ellen though ellen yeah ellen woodruff oh no what'd she do this time because everybody got the memo when they came in the parking lot and they went this oh way. yeah but and then ellen is ellen watching ellen came this way i'm not sure ellen's a little there's Maybe you can tag ellen's ellen. kind of a. Uh, uh, she's a little rebel. Oh, that's <laughs> I didn't know what you were going to say. You had a little rebel. worried. I thought no, we were going to no, lose no. a church member. No, 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 no. 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 She was just so excited. She's I mean, it just she yeah. just flew in she here. She came in like uh what would you say? How did she come into the parking lot? Hmm. Like a Give us one word to describe it. Ellen. Oh, I can't do that. Rebel? Yeah, rebel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, Anyways, yeah. Ellen. Like a church member who program. hasn't seen her church family that's in true. person for a while. Excited. So <laughs> um, that's that's great. She was it was loud. It was loud. She was honking her horn and swerving. She was coming in. So it was excellent. Yeah, that was fun. If she's not in here, somebody needs to invite her to watch this because 
Anyways, um, so pop-up parties, though, that we've done two so far. We had the 100, 100 pizzas that we gave away mm -hmm. two weeks ago. We did the 100 dozen donuts, 99 dozen donuts, however you want to count <laughs> it. Um, 100 sounds. And, uh, uh, listen around there. Yeah. So what's coming up next? Because we're doing this through May, right? Tuesday and Thursday, we are giving away 100 pints of blood. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, we're having a Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> it's I'm sorry, Tuesday and oh, Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> Tuesday right. and Wednesday, we're having a blood drive right here in the auditorium. Uh, the Red Cross is coming, uh, and they're going to be setting up. We do need a few volunteers and some stuff like that to help, uh, like as a re more like receptionist, and then also people to uh, donate their blood. Uh, and so this is obviously going to be a help. Uh, there's so many organizations. Um, I, I guess there's a number of organizations that that. Um, do this sort of thing, but just a small way in which we can help out uh, people in our community, people in need. Because um, I, I, what I'm understanding is, you know, less people donating these days because of obvious reasons. Right. And so some of our people might not be able to do it, um, but uh, I think it'd be great if if you can and want to be a part of that. Well, I think great. it's it's harder for that, them to find places to set up too. Right? That's is the that other thing. Yep, that's uh, true. She did say that. Um, and so our place, like a lot of businesses where they'd go into, it, maybe some of your businesses where they'd normally. Um, you know, set up to do a blood drive and they're just shut down. And so they, we were able to open right. up our building. They can use our facility. Uh, and then they're contacting their, like if, if you are at MasterCard and you do, uh, they have a blood drive there a couple of times a year or whatever, um, they're contacting MasterCard and their employees saying, hey, we know you were scheduled to have one here, but come on over to City Light. Uh, and so it's a great opportunity to have people here and just to uh, be nice to them, love them. And then also for our church to be involved with volunteering to help run it. Uh, and then also volunteering your blood, sharing, uh, you know, sharing this on Facebook and that sort of thing, letting others know uh, this is something that we're doing. And so that's going to be uh, y y it's Tuesday and Wednesday next week. 12th and 13th. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. And and 12th it's, and 13th. Is it nine to four. That's right. Nine, nine o'clock to four o'clock. So it's in the day. Um, maybe you have a lunch hour. Or maybe your you know, work is scheduled a little different right now. Uh, and you can come be a part of that just to donate, uh, sign up. I know Crystal's been sending out all the information about that so you can. Uh, I, I don't know if we have any links for you tonight, but you uh, no doubt have gotten a text and email and some other things about it. And if you're just scroll down on the Facebook page here, you can you can see um, the information about it. Yeah, absolutely. So so watch for that. I mean, that's next Tuesday and Wednesday. We'd love to have you come out. And if you're able to give uh, give blood, come come donate. If you're able to help volunteer, uh, we could use that for sure. So uh, what else? What else has been? Um, uh oh, you're fishing for something. And I'm drawing a blank. I'm not fishing. You know, if you all, um, if you've tuned in a few weeks ago, we had we had trouble. We're all of a sudden Facebook, like we just couldn't. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. We couldn't uh, broadcast anymore. Yeah, and during the pizza thing. During the pizza thing, and so and you probably Facebook. noticed this morning or today when you got when you logged wrist. in, um, it said we will begin soon. It was kind of a boring screen. No there wasn't any music. music. Because um, playing someone um, broke the law. <laughs> so there's this there's this thing about copyrights. Uh, hey 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 hey, <laughs> um, and so that's why it shut us down. But we have a solution. Um, well, and we do we do technically have rights, but then it's we sort do. of a confusing thing. So we he's do, not but intentionally breaking the law. But no, Facebook's well, and we do have that license and things. But um, <coughs> Facebook also ha doesn't have as many employees working right now, so their computers are catching things and stopping things. Um, so, but I found out I, I forgot something about about you. I I forgot something until today. Probably should have kept forgetting. No, no, no. I th no. This is a very important fact about Pastor Matt. So, um, you're going to get some exclusive info on Never Pastor Matt. Never seen before at City Light. Never before that. seen, and it's going to happen right here uh. tonight. Okay. So we have a solution. I think at least for. One minute, <laughs> 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 a, a solution to the, the the copyright issues of our of our songs, and um, I'm getting nervous. You should be. I'm you getting should a little be. nervous. So though. something about Pastor Matt that you may not know. I can sing, Lisa. Pastor Matt's got he's got roots though. You got, got roots, roots that run deep. I got a little bluegrass in my blood. A little bit of bluegrass in your blood. So <laughs> more uh, hillbilly than bluegrass. Though. So you reminded me today. You I want to remind you that you brought this up. Yeah. Uh, you said you were looking for. Uh, content for tonight and i did think that maybe we could yeah, yeah i guess it was my fault i'm sorry yeah so so I pastor regret. matt if no. you don't know um he plays uh he plays the harmonica thumbs oh, up for harmonica players <laughs> did you hear did you hear the hush no everybody's in awe oh. it's shock 
Uh, Pastor Matt plays the harmonica, and so I, can we? I I might put you. On, I think I'll put you on the spot here, um, but I think I think you take requests, don't you? Take oh, requests? Oh no, I don't think I can, so. I think you do. I can try. I think you do. But it ain't gonna um, uh, take requests. Look at oh, there's one right yes. there. More, more about Jesus. <laughs> is, that, is that a song that you oh, that's can play? One of my favorites. One of your like favorites. That. I'm glad that somebody requested that. Uh, that tonight. Where's that that? He plays in multiple keys. You can't capo. See, now I have a trick with the guitar. You just yeah. put a capo on it. You cheat. I do cheat. And you can, can uh, you play three keys at once. No. Can you do that? No, Probably somebody could, but it ain't going to be me. All right. So, so. Oh, man. I don't, we got to. I hope that's I not. Is that we should've, should've, loud? Do you have like an electronic harmonica? Yeah, you can't uh, regulate this sucker. <laughs> it's Rachel, all on me. Rachel, uh, and, Rachel and Nathan just said that this is your spiritual gift. This maybe. is my spiritual so gift. It, it is. He definitely has uh, prophecy, harmonica, prophecy. Uh, teaching. I don't. I don't yeah. know. Um, but, uh, harmonica and teaching. Harmonica. Happen. I don't think that's a spiritual gift. Gift, but. Uh, but anyway, so. Um, so I just thought, like you know, David to, with a harp. To avoid <laughs> <laughs> I'm very stressed out right now, uh, Pastor Matt. King Will you Saul. please if, no. just help me? If I'll I be King play Saul. this, the last thing you can do is throw a spear at me, all right? No, I got one. Uh, so a little little, little Bible. All right, so humor. if you want to hear if you want to hear something here um, from Pastor Matt, oh I got to see some goodness. more thumbs up before rather, we do yeah, this. I'm not doing this for free. I want a few. I want. I want some recognition. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk about that in a minute. I'm emotionally We're going to talk about that in a minute too. I need too. your thumbs up when I'm we talk about uh, talk about the. Here, I'll spam the thumbs up button. this out Man. i just ruined your solo i'm sorry come on you're just trying to get in on my your thing solo here. career the band's breaking uh, yeah. up you can go solo <laughs> more and more about jesus so so you're tell down. us a little bit about this hidden talent that you've kept hidden for so long you know i need somebody uh, maybe jenny if she she probably isn't watching no she uh maybe she probably was until can, <laughs> yeah she's like, oh brother my husband someone needs to no. tag my friend ryan henderson and I guess I could do that since I have my iPad right here. Ryan Henderson is a guy I went to high school with. And when we were on our senior trip, uh, we decided we were at Cracker Barrel and they had these harmonicas. We decided. Because where else would you get a harmonica? <laughs> That's true. Cracker Barrel. Um, okay. and, and we bought them. And whatever reason, our class sponsors actually let us buy them and then play them on the bus. I can't tag them right now, so I'll have to work on that. Um, so we bought him, and he was going to school in, um, where was he going? Somewhere in Illinois, I think, is where he was planning to go to school. And then I was going in Wisconsin, and our plan was to learn how to play the harmonica enough so that we could play Take Me Out to the Ball Game, meet at Wrigley Field, and play the, the seventh inning stretch. Um, wow. it, because uh, Harry Carey had just how died, and you? they were having people come in. Uh, and do this. I, we were uh, nine, 18, 18 years oh. old. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I thought so you were going to say seven. <laughs> no, that was the plan. And, um, so okay, okay, cool. Yeah. So everybody has dreams. Yeah, I had a, we. I had a dream. Anyways, um, yeah, and um, I just want to see the glowing lanterns gleam, or however that goes. But, uh, <laughs> Floating uh, lanterns gleam. Do you play um, that one? Do you so play that? Some I've, Disney favorites? I've not tried that, no, okay. but uh, maybe next week. All right, so Ryan so Henderson, anyways, and you, this yeah, was a big so plan, right? I, honestly, I don't know that I, since you know how it is, you graduate from high school, you see people like one or two times after that. Ryan and I have talked uh, maybe on Facebook or something once or twice in however long it's been since I graduated. It's been a while. Uh, and, uh, and I don't know if he's kept it up. Ryan, have you kept it up? Um, but I, I spent a summer with my grandpa uh in college and when i was there with him we he if you go to my grandpa's house he's going to stick a, a violin or a mandolin or a guitar in your hands and say here play this with me. like an like, instrument yeah and like i don't know what to do and he'll like teach you stuff so i'm there we're playing around and it just kind of clicked in my head finally play by ear so that's where like some songs i can't play some songs i can and that sometimes it takes a little that's practice cool. um it's not it's just easy. like a I've, weird thing i've tried it, but it's not up. easy um back in high school and college so that's the that's story cool. Of the harmonica, my wife doesn't let me play in the house. 
Well, you're safe here. Well, that's some if other. You, you know, that's some other later on so. when we take another little commercial break, you can <laughs> you can lead us out with some more harmonica so playing. I'm looking forward to a song at church. You know, when we all get back, some song. Yeah, I've never been invited. I mean, you've known I've had this talent for a long well, time. You've yeah. kept it hidden just yeah. as much as I have. I'm uh, just saying. Yeah, I suppose. I guess. So. I didn't know you had multiple keys and all that stuff. <laughs> I mean, that's cool. You know, my my uh, my grandpa used to play the harmonica, but he'd play while he played. You know. Now, I grew up in Wisconsin, so um, <laughs> thumbs up for polka music. Polka. <laughs> but he'd play with his little uh, concertina. And Probably Kim will uh, help you with that one. No one else is going to give you. Yeah. So but it's not easy. Now. So anyways, when we're back together, um, that would be a good thing to bring out. But how do, you know? let's talk about this for a minute because I'm sure it's on everybody's minds, this, uh, this being yeah. back together. Uh, the back together thing. We, uh, <laughs> My wife is watching that. She oh, now she's watching. She well, missed now the you good need, part. You need another song. You can serenade her. Maybe some Moonlight oh. Sonata. Can, can this be her Mother's Day gift, you think? Oh, man. Sh- that, that's probably Let's nothing, nothing How better. Does moonlight Sonata go? <laughs> I don't know. Right. Uh, <laughs> Maybe later. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, but, so here's the thing. Um, if you live in Missouri, uh, May the 4th was uh, when oh, the gosh. statewide uh, nope, stay-at-home order was lifted mm. right yep okay so there's been there's been some questions finally sure we can go to lowe's we can go to lowe's for <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. oh a man. little bitter all right <laughs> so but that's so this was that was this past monday all right so there's a there are there have been questions about um you know city light what does this mm-hmm. mean for our church what's what's look like going forward um and if you're a city light member you you should have gotten an email th- today um kind of outlining those plans but we wanted to talk just a little bit yeah about you, that because it if it you didn't get the email let us know because we want to make sure you got it because it, it'll just have them all written down and you can uh see all the exact plans we should have probably had a copy of that right here yeah you know but, uh, I, I do actually oh cool <clears throat> um yep so you most likely we're assuming that you read the email and you understand the details that we're not really going to share all the little details of it tonight here so please get the e- uh, look at your email. Um, if you didn't, just reach out to us, and we'll gl- make sure that you do get that. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so really tonight what we wanted to talk about is kind of the why, I guess, if, if, if it wasn't explained in the letter and that maybe the heart of it, because this sort of, sort of seems like, well, we're open again. All right, let's have church. Um, and, it, and the funny thing was is six weeks ago, as we just thought about it, like it sort of, sort of, sort of seemed like it would be that easy. But mm. then – once you realize the kind of suggestions that people are making, you know, we understand um, and we're thankful for our state government who haven't really like they, they have. It's a suggestion, guidelines, things to go by. Um, and we just want to kind of be respectful and play in the rules as best that we can. Uh, and so things like uh, donuts, uh, ushers, greeters, bulletins i mean how can you have church without a bulletin that's a i mean that's a big oh, we'll question <laughs> uh but uh and then nursery and also um okay ralph Viella needs to get an email all right um and also um nursery and kid city so all that the other thing is about the social distancing it's you got to be six feet apart and so like you could have a family sit there like four or five people in a family but then the next people sitting have to be six feet apart from them. And it could be an individual, just one person who's here. And that's totally fine. But they're sitting there and then six feet from them, uh, you know, so we have to spread out. And we actually did this. If, you, if we don't want to show it to you right now because it's a little messy. Um, but we spread out the chairs in the auditorium. How many people can we fit in our auditorium uh, and go? We don't have a these? huge auditorium if you've if you've yeah. been into service. Not to mention, I'm not sure how you come in the church and stay six feet apart, you know. Uh, yeah. That would be its own little trick, but um, here, here's the thing: is we can fit about 55 chairs, and then I th- we thought, well, we could put a few people on the stage, you know, and and we're all game for that. Uh, but it just would be like a trickle in of our of our people, and um, we could have like 17 services, and it just wouldn't be city light how we do city light, um, and it would be with a lot of complications. Uh, not to mention, I think that as 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 much as we want to be together um it is hey we can have service like that and and hassle with all those things or for a few more weeks we can we kind of got a mashup of some things we're going to do here but yeah. just continue to put together a great online service um, because the point is 
uh, in many ways to, to worship God, which we're able to do, uh, and then to and to grow in the in the from the preaching of, of the Word of God. And so all those things are happening. They're just in a little bit of different environment. Uh, and so while we can't wait to be back uh, with everybody and our whole church together, uh, we are gonna we are kind of putting that off a few more weeks. And so we're gonna do it in a in a in a little way. If you haven't got the email or you want to understand. What's well, about? Tell us a little about how that's going to look. Not this Sunday. This Sunday we're still completely online, but next right. Sunday, what is that going to look like? Right, right. So, like you mentioned, it's just not as as there's a lot of moving parts in in coming back to uh, what we would consider normal. Um, and so the way the way we're doing it uh, through the month of May, and I, it's important, you know, just to remind everyone up front too, if you're a City Light member to please just stay flexible and understanding with everything because, I mean, these things could change the next few weeks too. Uh, We have a a date we're shooting for for being able to come back together in the building here, um, you know, without some of the restrictions, but that could change too. Mm. Uh, But the way we're going to work for the next few weeks is uh, it's going to be by invitation um, and we're going to work our way through our city groups um, to, to try to, you know, we have a, a maximum of 55 in the auditorium here. Mm-hmm. Um, and so you'll be receiving, if you're a member of a city group, uh, your city group and another city group uh, will be receiving invitations to come to uh, the services um, through through May, starting May 17th, the 24th, and the 31st. Kind of okay. like a drawing so for a deer hunt when you like hit a like, <laughs> hunt, so like you get to hunt on this land this year for this kind of deer, uh, <laughs> sort of. Yeah, some, some of a our little bit like that. <laughs> only you know we don't get to eat jerky at the uh, end. Oh, Ben, come be on, man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but so that's but that's for people that are members of of city groups. Now, if you are not a member of a city group, um, you know. We we you are better, you, should. you you should be Sorry. Um, you don't get the co- no, I'm kidding. and you are interested <laughs> in attending one of those yeah. services. We will do our best to accommodate that um, if there is 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 room still uh, with the service. Um, and you can email info at citylightbc.com uh, to say, hey, I'm not a member of a city group, but I'd be interested in coming on whatever date it is. And so that's that covers May though, 17th, mm-hmm. 24th, 31st. Now mm-hmm. during those times. Uh, because of the challenges um, and because of the social distancing and things like that, uh, there will be no nursery. Uh, there will be no no kids program mm-hmm. uh, for for the month of May, and we still will be streaming uh, live um, online at ten o'clock. Uh, Are Sunday we going to Kids City still <laughs> online? Kids City will still be nine thirty uh, online okay. uh, before the service. But so if you're if you are. If there's a Sunday that your city group is not invited, um, our services will still resume online, um, and and you can still watch those uh, like we've been doing the last few weeks. They'll be uh, they'll be a little different. Um, mm-hmm. You know, the first two weeks, if you go back, that, that seems like forever ago now. Uh, but the first few while. weeks we did it were they were truly live services. Yeah, um, there weren't people here, but they were live. So it'll so be that format. We're do a little more live. Yes, and s- yeah. swap it in and out of things. So yeah, so if you're here, you'll, there'll be maybe be a camera next to you, not on you necessarily, but you know, just some some different things to try to accommodate both of those, both of those venues. But um, right um, now we are we are we are aiming for June seventh um, to have have uh, a service ten o'clock where it's just it's open. Now <coughs> that is a very <laughs> tentative date right. really because uh if if social distancing uh regulations and restrictions and things still remain uh we'll have to we'll have to adjust and make some changes mm-hmm. there as well so that's the plan for for may um if you did not get that email um i can make sure that you get that uh rafaela will make sure that you get that um but let us know and we'll we'll get that that email out to you just a sheet sheet that shows um how, oh, how we're handling everything. It's just, I, and, uh, like you, I'm sure you're with us when you're like, man, I just, I just can't wait till this is over, you know, in a sense. I know there, there have been some things I feel like that, you know, the things that this space has allowed God to speak to us about, um, and there's been some benefits to it. I think even in our ministry, while there's some things that haven't been happening, like our service on Sunday, some of the stuff we've done online has helped us. It's kind of things we, we, you and I have talked about, Hey, we want to do a better job, Mm. you know, capturing the footage of what happens here on Sunday so that we can, 
reproduce it in ways throughout the week because that's where people live on social media, YouTube, those sort of things. Uh, and we want to take a step forward in that. And so this this thing has uh, kind of pushed us down that road faster than we wanted to go. Uh, or well. maybe we were, <laughs> not wanted to go, but no, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. we were, you know, we were always sort of nervous, even like doing this, like there was some of us like, I don't know if we can do this. Should we do this? Do people care? You know? Um, well, I think it, for, it forcibly it kind of cleared us to go do something. Yeah. You know? I mean, and it cleared so, the schedule to have to have to focus on that, which has been a, yeah. a, be- a good benefit. And, and, you know, and some other things that we're working on. And so um, while there there are some bummers to it, I, I know that there's also been some good things happening. Do you think one of the things I was I don't want to break any rules and I hadn't talked to you about this before, but maybe what somebody could do if like, let's say next week. Um, you're you didn't get picked for the drawing, you know, so you you still have to watch at home. Um, but could they go over to like a friend's house and watch together? Is that possible as long as they keep distance? Is that allowed? I'm not I'm not sure on the rules. Yeah. So my my understanding is that, you know, there used to be. So when we eased into this, it went from, you know, unlimited meetings to, you know, 100 people to 50 people to 10 people. My, my understanding is that that restriction is not there. Um, but the social distancing requirements are still there. So the six feet and the, you know, they recommend masks and they recommend. Um, so yeah, so that like I'm that. just I guess what I'm throwing out there is that maybe a new option and something that might be enjoyable if you can work it out if you want to. I understand something like I don't want anybody in my house or um, I'm getting ready. To, I'm getting ready to sneeze. Sorry. Go for it. I'm going to move away. <laughs> Please do. Elbow. Elbow. Um, that, you know, there are there are options like that. Um, and I just want, you know, hopefully everybody understands we're we're doing our best to to be cautious and to uh, to to move back in at the proper mm-hmm. speed within <laughs> the proper guidelines we, and not to we not don't like to, this just like you don't like it. Well, know. yeah. And we and. And we definitely don't want to put any of our, our members in an uncomfortable situation where they have to, you know, decide whether they're missing out or, you know. Right. I, we, we certainly want to be just careful. Um, so, but I do believe that that 10-person restriction is lifted. It's just you have to abide by the social distancing guidelines. And so, <laughs> and, and what that looks like, too, for our services is it's going to be a touchless service, right? So doors will be propped open. Uh, the, there, we're not going to be passing off rig plates. There's going to be boxes on the back wall. There's, you know, you'll be able to like, walk right in, right down the lobby, just, hover just to your and seat, not touch anything. <laughs> you don't have to touch anything, and then and then move back out. Sorry, I was and so I was thinking about all that as you were describing. I was just I was picturing uh, this. Yes, and uh, we'll plastic wrap all the chairs. No, um, we'll do our best to keep things you know, right. clean and sanitary. And um, yeah, and so we're going and we're. We're going yep. extra on that as well. So, um, so we're you know we're easing back into this. Just be patient and understanding. And, and you guys have done great. Um, yeah, great I think everybody that. really has. You, you know, there's no doubt we there are things that we, you know, we haven't got it all right. You know what I mean? Like, cause who who's got the playbook for this one? So we're <laughs> just trying like the best we can, gather some information. We talked to the deacons last week, and you know when they said, hey, we're, we're lifting this, and we. We all met together, you know, for a while, or I guess not together. We zoomed met, together. Yeah, yeah, zoomed together. And, and you know, kind of think through that. And it was like, you know, well, some people aren't going to want to bring their kids. Some people aren't going to want to be around kids. Some people are high risk, and so they're not going to come. Yeah. Some people could come, but they, they don't want to. Well, what does that look like? Well, maybe there's four people here and then nothing online, you know, so to speak. And so it was like, well, you know, we're trying to be flexible and helpful to people as much as, you know, as, much as we can. So that's... That's sort of where hover like like ghost, and that's really been the challenge. And that's even the challenge now is there's there's not a clear cut, yeah, defined watch party at the web yes house. or no thing. So with um, eggs Benedict with eggs Benedict. Ooh, Will you serve, do you, I feel okay. Like you have to hold your pinky out when you say eggs Benedict, and you need an accent oh. of some kind. Eggs Benedict. <laughs> <laughs> that you're not, not. Who's Ben Dicty? <laughs> like I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man. That. Anyways, so that's the plan. If you didn't get the email, again, reach out to us. We'll make sure you get it. Um, and uh, and that's that's how we're moving forward with the month of May um, to to kind of move back into some sort of a, a normal service schedule. So, <laughs> talking about your services or our services that we've had. My services. Your <laughs> services. Um, I want to take if we could take just a couple minutes and and discuss and review. 
this last week's message. Um, you continued gospel growth. Um, <laughs> Rachel said it's sounding better and better. It is sounding <laughs> better and better as long as the eggs bend it. Yeah. Wait a minute. I can't come. I'm going to be here. I, I was. Oh, do you deliver? Mm. Yeah, do, they deliver? do you deliver? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, but we've been you've been way. preaching through gospel growth, discovering the distance between uh, God and me. Um, <clears throat> this last week was week three. <laughs> when you said right? you said this last week was week three, and you feel that I was like, oh, I was like, oh, it's week, huh? <laughs> like that's <laughs> no, like, <you> said, like <laughs> week three. It, it was, was the weakest of <laughs> the messages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, we didn't, we didn't. Uh, no, <laughs> gotcha. Week um, three, yeah. Uh, but it was great. I mean, you 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 said a lot of. Uh, um, targeted, I guess, targeted things that that really challenged me. Okay, and uh, hopefully others as well. And so, uh, can we discuss those for a little yeah. bit? How do you How do you want to? S- how do we want to do this? We have so a We have a clip just to remind. But if you want to set up, because yeah. we talked about this a little bit before we. So over the last three weeks, came on here. If I could, you know, I know if I summarize this, people are gonna be like, "Why can't you just do it on Sunday?" All right, but it, you know, on Sunday it needs a little more depth, a little more more distance. <laughs> uh, but um, <laughs> he, here's the through. thing: is that when you get saved, the moment of your salvation is when you start to realize there's a difference between me and God. I'm not perfect. I don't measure up. I fall short of the glory of God. And as we grow in our clear understanding, biblical understanding of the gospel, what should be happening is there's a greater distance between us and God. We start to realize, man, I am really bad. Uh, and there's a lot of innate self-righteousness, uh, worshiping of self, putting preferring self above others and God uh, that goes on in my life even still. But as I grow in the gospel, I, 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 I uncover who I am and who God is. And that's really what we want. That's what God wants for our life. Uh, I think you read through the whole Bible and God is just saying, get back over here. Come to me. I'm enough. Quit trying to do that. Quit trying to go over there. Quit trying to get your needs met here. Just come to me. Uh, And so one of the things that we really have to root out is self-righteousness. And I don't I don't love to talk about this. Um, and, it, and it sort of is like when, when you go like, well, all our people at our church are just so nice. You know, like there's, they're so godly. They're so churchy. They're so, you know, like or whatever, however, however people want to describe them. But the truth is, is y'all are wicked. All right. No, I'm, but we're, oh, me, you know, wait. me too. Uh, okay, there you go. There you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, and, and we're all like, yeah. and, and the more, the, the thing is, as you grow in the gospel, the more you see, man, I am really bad. And, and that motive was bad, and that motive is bad, and that motive is bad. It's like, why are you always pointing that stuff out? Because it's so important that we get a clear view of who, who we are. Because we, we, we read sentences in the Bible that where Paul says, I'm the chief of sinners, or I'm a wretched man. And we're like, man, he must have been really bad because I'm not like that. And if, if that's what we think, then we, we're not thinking clearly. We're not thinking biblically. And the Bible, the gospel, is there to, to help reveal to us, man, you're bad. And God is really good, really holy, really transcendent. Uh, and and it, all it should do is produce a greater love for God, a greater appreciation, uh, a greater desire to be with him uh, and, to, and to see, man, I don't want out what that world has to offer. I'm not trying to go away from God to get my needs about it. He's meeting all my needs in the greatest way possible through himself. And so um, self-righteousness, we perform and pretend. Uh, we we try to cover up our sin by pretending we're better than we are, uh, and then we try to perform, uh, trying to think that we can gain Christ's righteousness. And so to combat that, this past week we talked about really two uh, areas of identity that will help us, uh, and that is pass- understanding passive righteousness and adoption. Passive righteousness means I, don't, I can't do anything to be righteous. Uh, a lot of a lot of times we think God favors me because I do X Y Z. I have these standards. I'm part of this kind of church. I, uh, you know, I don't do this. I've never been there. Uh, as if God goes, ooh, like you're impressive. I, I've got a special place in heaven for you because uh, of that. And we gotta we gotta root that out and understand uh, that it's based on uh, Christ righteousness. And and He approves of me. He's pleased with me because of Christ. Uh, but we pretend we don't. We don't admit that we have that ulterior motive. We don't admit that we fail that too. Um, I was thinking today um, of a, of a, a situation years ago uh, when I called somebody out for for doing something that I have done, and I mean I read them the right. It was in college. 
Uh, I, and, but I just was thinking about it. I was like, man, that was so hypocritical. And man, I just stood there so like, how dare you? How could you do that? And I was like, wait a minute. Like, think back just a year ago when you did that. Like, quit pretending like somehow you're better than that. Or, you know, uh, and then performing again where we have a certain standards. We think God is impressive. Like, we're not as wrong as those people because we do this and this. So, um, we want our passive righteousness to come from Christ. We want our identity to be rooted in Christ in, in, a, in a, an adoption that we're part of his family. It's not because I'm Baptist, not because of the Bible version I have, not because of this standard I have, but because of Jesus Christ. Uh, and so that may, that may set up the little thing you want to want to show there. And then we can talk about this because really when it comes, when it comes, well, no, I, if I say this, it's going to say, you, you hit, hit play. <laughs> I'm going to hit play, Save but me. you know, if, if you, uh, if, if you, we had somebody last week, I think it was last week that said, you know, I'm taking notes and, and watching the sermon. And sometimes I can't write things down fast enough. Uh, yeah. Because because you're preaching and the thing comes up and then it's down. I was down. just impressed that people take notes. <laughs> well, so so if you missed some, this I want you to to watch this clip. Write you know write some of this down because even in this 30 second clip, I think there's some very very important truths that we have to remind ourselves of and have to remember uh, about the gospel. Here's the good news. The good news is this: is that uh, in the gospel, it isn't that God favors us because of who we are or what we do but that he favors us in spite of who we are and what we do. He favors us because of Jesus and our faith in Jesus Christ. And even our faith is a precious gift from God. At the root of visible sin lies the invisible struggle of righteousness and identity. Look, in your life, All right, a little flat All right. throwback Thursday. A little throwback Thursday there. All the way but, back to Sunday. Um, you know, and, and as I watched that, I went, the, people are still finding a pen and paper. They probably didn't get yeah. to write that down <laughs> either. But look at, I have copies Let's of the actual again. sermon notes. We, can, we should give away, we should auction off an autographed copy of your Sunday <laughs> sermon notes. <laughs> no. What is that? Like, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but you said uh, at the end there, you said at the root of all sin is, how did you say it? Right there. You at the root it. of visible sins lies the invisible struggle for righteousness and identity. Yeah. And that, Can you and explain first that all, a that's bit? Not, it's not original with me. That's not, that's not my words. Quote. So I am quoting someone there who really boiled this down to say um, at, at the root of a visible sin, okay, that's things we can see um, like uh, anger, mm. okay, like stealing, like murder, uh, like pride, I guess, if you, could, you maybe see pride um what is what is at the root of it is a struggle for righteousness and identity righteousness and identity so let's think about let's not think about us like on sunday i shared the story about me honking on the horn at the guy who cut me off okay? i couldn't relate to that but at let's, all. let's let's not I, talk so about I mean, that tonight. i couldn't let's, let's no idea go back and from. think about the pharisees <laughs> in the bible because it's a lot less painless to think about them um we want to uh, think, think about, think about this is like when the guy is there in the, in the Bible and he's praying, God, thank you that I'm not like this guy. Thank you that I do this and I do this. And I do this. Like he is, he is, imp- he's trying to impress God. He thinks he's impressing God. He thinks I am killing it. I'm doing the law, man. I got it all down. I tithe on this. I do that. I do that. Um, and, and why is he bragging? What is he doing? Like he's trying to establish his right standing with God. Mm. Uh, he's trying to convince God that he's good enough to be his friend or be connected to him you know, up to his level. Uh, he's, he's also wanting everybody around him to know, hey, I am somebody because this is what I do. So like if he wasn't struggling yeah. with, if he had passive righteousness in Christ, he wouldn't need to brag because he would recognize that let him that glory, glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth God. And you know that uh, if you're going to glory, glory in the cross. Uh, that in me, that is in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. You know, the things that are gained to me, I count loss, Paul said, uh, because Paul had a greater understanding uh, after his conversion of this passive righteousness that came through Christ. Uh, also, in identity, again, one of the reasons he was bragging was because he was like, man, look at me. I, I want to be known for something. I want to be important. I want to be significant. I want to be known for playing the harmonica uh, in Wrigley Field. Uh, it's the uh, only reason you busted out tonight. Uh, just, yeah. I, I, I'm a harmonica player. I want everybody, everybody to I'm know. I'm a pastor. I want, I want to be the harmonica player. I am multi-talented. Uh, and, and so... That, that's the reason he's bragging. If he was 
uh, understood his true identity as being adopted in Christ. He's accepted and loved uh, and valuable to Christ or to God because of Christ. And he's been mm. gifted because of Christ. Then you don't have to go around touting yourself or, and cutting other people down to make yourself good and establish that for yourself. Once you recognize that those are mistaken, expect, uh, they're, they're our, our mistake on what God expects, on his expectation. He expects perfection. He expects Jesus Christ. Mm. Uh, he doesn't expect me to do this, this, and this. Uh, and and w- when we mistake what God expects, then we run around trying to establish our own righteousness, our own identity. Well, it's amazing how it much we, we, we throw that out at other people, too. And look at, look at how I'm doing this thing right, and they're not doing it right. And, mm. and then I'm, I'm identifying as someone who's uh, got it all together, and that person over there doesn't. You know, I parent better. I, I do this better. Right. I do that better. Uh, it seems like there's a hundred things on our list if we're not and careful. And you may, you may, you like, you may parent well, better sure, than me or them. But like the thing, the thing is, and 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 we're slowly getting there because like hmm. I know I know some people might be going, why why do you keep talking about it? where are you going? Where we're <laughs> headed, uh, and we're a few weeks away from getting some real practical application. Of, in many areas but there's some foundation we're laying and some things you got to understand really before this you know because sometimes we're like hey just tell me what to do you know just tell me how to act at church tell me how to deal with my husband uh you know like this sort of thing and 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 we're not going to do that because it's not about a list of things to do we want to lay this simple foundation to to fix your marriage that really will transform our thinking and our heart and our life and so uh, one of these things i said just it says we uh, oh where it is oh yeah when we stop believing that god is enough and and that's when we sin so understanding that binging okay isn't the root sin uh, it's believing that God is enough. Gluttony isn't the root sin. It's believing that God is enough. Anger isn't the root sin. It's believing that God is enough. So we look past the visible sin to the invisible sin of this, of, of the root of all sin is this, is believing that God isn't enough and having to go get our, our needs met uh, through some other source or trying to get our perceived needs met through some other source. I got to say that correctly or my, my wife will... Uh, yeah, get, and get your, on to me. your wife just made some good points too. That the happy moralist says I'm doing pretty good, and then the sad moralist says I'm such a loser, and both are self righteousness. Yeah, and and I think I think that's key to point out because like some people could think, <laughs> man, you're always dogging on like yeah. people know we're people know we're not any good. <laughs> you know, people know we're sinners, but but yet they're still trying to their their thinking is of establishing their we have to establish our own righteousness mm-hmm. and I'm just overwhelmed by it. I could never ne- never measure up but it's still the wrong thinking of active righteousness when it's passive from Christ and then some people are on the other side where they're like, man I am killing it uh, and and they've got to recognize that it's passive righteousness that it's because of Christ and they got to come down uh, but either way uh, it is self-righteousness which is a great a great point um, because it, it can really feel like um, you're you know, we're harping on like, OK, give me a break. But it's just so important um, that we we tie our identity to to Christ. And so look at your. I, I think it's important if you'll look at your sin. OK, you may know, identify something that happened today. Um, and I, I can think of something that happened today. Um, my wife uh, expressed to me some burdens that, you know, she, those things are going on in her world. Um, and I walked out to the deck to flip the pork, uh, and I just was like, she doesn't know this. I'm, I'm confessing because there's a great distance between me and her right now, uh, and uh, just, you know, physically. Uh, and I, I was like, 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 what do you want me to do with that? Like, I don't know how to, how to act. And right away, I was just like, oh, man, like, you know, I could uh, respond in love because God loves me. I could respond in, oh, I understand what that's like i'm really sorry uh, or here let me help but then we're like well i got my things to worry about you worry about your th-, you know like and so we start um you know kind of grabbing for ourselves and for our own you know our own you know i'm right you're right. like i can't deal with you because i got my own needs but once we recognize hey i've got my identity in christ my righteousness in christ um that kind of frees us up to to be um kinder to be patient with people, to be understanding, to identify uh, with those struggles and um, and and be a help and a love, a loving person to others. So that's just kind of the review. This Sunday is Mother's Day. And so we are going to do something um, 
Maybe. Maybe. Phenomenal. It's going to be phenomenal. Phenomenal. And Phenomenal. it's going to be, I think, maybe, well, it's happened one other time, sort of, for a Vision Sunday. Uh, but we have a special guest uh, that's going to be with is going to be with me. Uh, it will not be a normal sermon on Sunday. And so you'll want to be, uh, be a part of that. Uh, it, you'll enjoy it. And that's about all I'll say about it. But it's going to be a good time. Uh, on Sunday, looking forward uh, to the special Mother's Day, yeah. uh, City Light online Mother's Day. Very good. And so we're even going to give a gift to moms. Yes, on Sunday that are, that are part of the service. You know, if they're they're online checked in. Uh, so we're, we'll talk about that on Sunday. But we are going to do that. Um, just just so you know, a little tease to help you come back on Sunday. Yeah, absolutely. So make sure you're here on our Facebook page at um, ten o'clock. 10 o'clock on Sunday morning, 9.30, Kids City Online. If you have kids or if you just enjoy watching Gramps, I tend to enjoy watching Gramps. Um, but you'll want to be back with us on Sunday uh, for those services. So if you didn't get a chance to, to watch the full sermon this last week, catch up um, by just going back and watching that video. Um, you can go to YouTube. You can go just back in our Facebook feed here. And find that, um, but gospel growth, it's been a, a good series so far, and I hope you can catch up with the truths from that message. Your, your wife asked about my sermon notes in the comments, and I'm telling you right now, ain't nobody <laughs> wants to see my sermon notes. Uh, th- I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot going on here, i got to say. I don't know that it would be helpful to anybody, but it works in my brain. Um, well, you didn't go on uh, the back, so you're okay. I used to handwrite all my sermon notes until we started City Light. It was the first time I typed out sermon notes uh, and uh, and used them exclusively, you know, typed out. So it's, but I so I still go back to this handwritten. It's like a mashup of those two. Not that anybody cares, but now you know, and no one's half the battle. Very good. All right, one minute, and we'll be done. All right, so closing closing thoughts here. You got to get. Uh, let's do something in the key of D this time. Oh man! Uh, <laughs> to close us out here, I don't know. Just pick a key. Maybe C is always good. All right. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> no, <I'm just> kidding. <laughs> I want to hear "Take Me Out to the Ball Game." You've been practicing for twenty years. You've been practicing for twenty years. Yeah, but I haven't. Pra- well, no, I started. Why have I not seen you in song. Wrigley? Because I'm a Cardinal fan. Because there's no baseball season this year. This was going to be the year. This was going to be. But mm, too bad they had to cancel the season. We just really thought that we really thought in our 19 year old heads, 18 year old heads, that they would like we could apply to sing in the place of Harry Carey and they would let us. Um, There's probably a reason why we never got there. (laughs) You probably need to start with like. uh, We grew up. uh, (laughs) Like what are those? What are those? Simon Uh, Cowell. What is that? You probably need to start there. America's Got Talent. You know, um, I I think uh, Darren says he sings in the key of off. Off. Um, Now is that like Like off, like mute, or or like like off, off key? I think um, because I've done both of those. But hey, in closing here tonight, thanks thanks for tuning in tonight and for joining us and for sitting through um, all of this. <laughs> Appreciate that. Um, wow, it's really hard to think with that. <laughs> all right. Looking forward to Sunday. Uh, tune in 10 o'clock Sunday uh, for, <laughs> for our... <laughs> uh, it, is, it is extra loud here, right next to my head. Um, Remember, next week, Blood Drive, the 12th and 13th. And <laughs> yeah, you got it all. I appreciate that. Hold on. No, we're not seeing you. Oh, come you. on. You ruined the timing. Um, maybe <laughs> let's, let's do this. I'm gonna put, I am going to put you on the spot. Somebody, first person to give a request to Matt. He's going to play it. Whatever you request in the comments here, and that's how we're going to finish tonight, okay? Um, I just ended with taking my requests. Song. That was your. Oh, you should have. Well, play it in a different key. Maybe nobody will notice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're looking for requests. What's the request? I think of a. Think of a. Oh, I don't know something. Some bluegrassy hymn, or or something that. Uh, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Come on.
right. Okay, wait. Oh, when the Saints go marching. Oh, you got two requests no. for that. Two requests for when the Saints go marching in. Um, so you got to play. Hallelujah, of course. Huh? Man. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> wow, you actually know it. <laughs> what? All right, hold on. I don't know. Okay. Um, song. Hold on. When the, sa- <laughs> when, the, when the Saints go marching in. I don't know. How does that start? It oh, starts in the key of C. Oh. I'm a little worried about all the spittle yeah, that's getting in those things. No, we don't, we don't share a... Can you all hear him okay? Do we need to, we need to get an electronic or an electric... That was good. When the Saint, that was uh-huh. if you if you didn't catch that, that was when the Saints go marching in. <laughs> we need a little interpretation. Where's um, the closed cap? How, that? Wait, how about? Oh, see now, Ken tuned in just for this. All right, so you gotta you gotta do when the roll is called up yonder. Oh, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> I don't. Nobody's laughing. And nobody's crying yet. Well, there might have been. <laughs> all right i'll give you i love the big endings you know yeah we got you know one. what i kind of think somehow we need to uh we need to have altar call with uh, oh with the harmonics <laughs> i'm never gonna live this down <laughs> that's okay viewers we're going up uh, i'm not in pain sort of maybe but not really <laughs> Anyways, hey, thanks again for joining us tonight. Um, we'll, we'll probably have more surprises next time. <laughs> I'd like to know, um, Rachel uh, says we need to add a banjo and a campfire. She plays I agree. Awesome. You play the banjo? I want to know from the people that are still here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, Both of you. Can you tell us? Are, who, who has a hidden? And I'm not, I'm not, hold, hold on. I'm not talking about like piano guitar like the normal the normal instruments i'm talking about those fringe instruments that you don't think about but are very important to society like and a fulfilled life like an accordion oh no we're not huh hey oh man we need to cut this off yeah how do you you boot someone i need to boot someone from Uh the stream here but you block her all right listen (laughs) any (laughs) any hidden (laughs) any hidden uh, uh oh my goodness they should get together with their goofy instruments um, that means, wait, my wife just gave me permission to practice the accordion at home tonight Woo-hoo. when I get home. <laughs> <When you're laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a whole story <laughs> behind that, but we'll have to save that for next week. Because he tap dances, too. <laughs> 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 you clog. Uh, you clog like you're from Wisconsin. Uh, you polka. What's your favorite polka song? <laughs> All right. Next week, Bratwurst and Polka oh here on City Light Nights. Somebody's right? Bratwurst the, and Polka. The cops are coming to take us away. They so heard like your harmonica pra- playing and uh, <laughs> bring on the accordion. That's so funny. We, we may see. We may have to do that. Um, we'll see what we can do. Anyways, that, now guys. that's embarrassing. You think a harmonica is embarrassing. <laughs> um, all right. Anyways, we need to stop. Only in the suspense. Thanks for being here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we'll uh, <laughs> tune in next week. Uh, for City Light Thank Nights and be here Sunday morning here 10 o'clock. Us. Let us know. We love you guys. And yep. we'll see you Sunday. We'll see you Sunday. Thank you.